My name is Eric Valdez. I'm an education coordinator with Crystal Cove Conservancy. I am Caitlin Maliano. I am an education manager for Crystal Cove Conservancy. I actually started here as an intern from Cal State Fullerton. So I actually first started working for Crystal Cove Conservancy as an intern when I was in college at UCI. I do a lot of work with local scientists and I work to turn their research into programs where we can have students come out and help with their research. A teacher that I had back in high school, he really pushed us to go out into the field and he is one of the reasons why I know that I can do stuff like restoration. It's just been a very eye-opening experience when you realize something that I enjoy doing is an opportunity or a career that I can do. So uh, thank you, Mr. Lara. I took a class um, in zoology and botany in high school, which I feel like was a really lucky experience. Not a lot of kids had that. And um, Mr. Zeiser was always just like jazzed about nature. As a little Mexican boy growing up, a lot of what uh, we did as a family is not necessarily go out to areas like Crystal Cove. I actually didn't know that things like going out and helping an area be restored to its native habitat was something that you could do for a job. As I grew older, I kind of realized that that like curiosity about the world was really what makes a scientist. It was through interning when I was um, a, an undergraduate here at Crystal Cove Conservancy that I realized that it was something I could do as a job. There's always a great moment when the bus comes around the corner and as soon as it rounds the corner and it like opens up that big ocean view, it's just every single student starts screaming. A lot of the schools that we bring these students from um, are Title I schools. The students come from lower income areas. A lot of the students are on free or reduced lunch. A lot of these students also don't necessarily um, come to Crystal Cove a lot. So for many of them, this is their first experience coming to the park or sometimes even coming to the coast. This is a really special place. We have so many diverse habitats here, and it's wonderful to see all the students that it impacts and that we can affect here. We are coming out with the students out into the field. We sometimes have been going into their classrooms and doing programs with them in their classrooms. And in today's world, we even added Zoom into our program, so we visit them virtually so they can still come and see the beauty of Crystal Cove State Park from their classrooms. So we bring these fifth grade students out to the park to collect data and one of the big questions with any community science project is always can we trust this data collected by students? Some of them are nine or ten years old um, and the answer is definitely yes. We actually compared the fifth grade data to undergraduate data and professional scientists and we we're excited to find out that our fifth grade students, their data match more closely to the professional scientists than the undergrads did. So the data that they collect involves the populations of plankton, populations of fish, and even the water quality. The fifth graders we have out in the park do seem to really understand that the planet needs their help and the ecosystem here in Crystal Cove needs their help. That's something they always bring up, that they want to help the environment, protect the environment, and stop climate change. I love seeing students and knowing that they're going to go on and protect the cove and the rest of the world for years to come. I actually have thought of being a scientist, more of an environmental scientist. I would like to be a botanist. A marine biologist. To be a microbiologist. Scientist. A scientist. All right, thanks Bye for guys. joining us. Thank you all so much. See you next time. All right. Not too bad, another day down. Yep, I think it's time to get a shape. That sounds like something you would say. How long do we walk? <laughs> That's a really good question.